Hi, I'm JT the Phone Guy. I work with 3CX VOIP systems, among many others, but when working with the 3CX system, I do work exclusively with a company called CSS Consulting. We design, program, implement, train, and support all of the components of the 3CX VOIP system. Over time, we've learned how to make changes to the system to improve the call flow and to improve the communication flows in the system. Today we're going to talk about one of those things. We're going to demonstrate how to create a BLF button to route the caller directly to a specific extension voice mailbox. The issue. One of our customers has several answer reception points throughout the enterprise. Their former system had a transfer to voicemail key that could be pressed, followed by pressing the appropriate extension BLF button. The call was immediately transferred to voicemail along with the caller ID information. We could not use my phone as each receptionist had multiple duties which didn't allow for the management of a PC-based receptionist application. The solution? We'll demonstrate how to create a BLF button that routes the caller directly to voicemail including the caller ID information. Note, if you use star 4 in the extension to transfer to voicemail, the caller ID will not follow. We will display meaningful verbiage on a programmable soft BLF button by creating non-associated unregistered extensions. We'll use forwarding rules for the non-associated unregistered extensions to redirect the calls. And finally, we'll use the digital assistant to ensure caller ID information is also forwarded to the message envelope. Our customer wanted to have a soft button on their sidecar that would display VM and the employee's first name, i.e. VM Dennis. We set up the sidecar with the extension BLF buttons on the right and the voicemail transfer BLF buttons on the left. They also wanted to make sure that the caller ID followed the transfer for both the voicemail message envelope and appearance in the email subject line. In our case, the answer points are provisioned with Yealink T28 IP phones and associated sidecars. Here's what the display looked like. We've set all of our extensions up in exactly the same way so that there is a voice mail button for each extension. We'll look at 1009. 1009 is just a normal extension that has a voicemail, has normal forwarding rules. That display still remains and if the operator wants to transfer a call they will use that extension or that BLF button. However we've also now set up extension 2009 and all that 2009 is for is to display the name voicemail Dennis it's not registered but since it isn't registered it's going to send the call to 3009 which is the digital assistant why do we do this well we do this because transferring directly to a voicemail using star 4 will not carry the caller information to the message envelope nor will it include it in email if you use that option to do this we have to go through the digital assistant so we set up a digital assistant 3009 again just to match Dennis's and all it does is time out after one second and transfer the call to Dennis once the call is there and it's transferred into his voicemail, then all of the caller ID, all of the caller information will follow. The call comes into our system and into our main attendant location. At that point, it's determined that we want to transfer the call to Dennis's voicemail directly. We push the BLF button. and that transfers the call to unregistered extension 2009. Unregistered extension 2009 forwards the call to digital assistant 3009. Then the digital assistant times out to voicemail for extension 1009 and the call is also forwarded to the user's email.